Hey guys, welcome back to my house at Thanksgiving. We're gonna do another DIY. We've got a guest star this week, Phil. Hi, I'm out. <coughs> so, sorry, out to waste. All right, we've got a guest star with us this week. Introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Alex. We're gonna be working with some uh, clay today. Mm. And what? uh... What's going on? No, not you. Different clay. Different, oh. different clay. Whatever. So, so we're gonna be getting to work on some clay. And uh, before I do that, let me uh, just put on my clay brin. Clay huh? No, clay. It's a brand name. It's an oh. apron for clay. Not, not for you. Who oh, knew? It's for me. <laughs> okay. First things first. Let's get some clay. Now, if you get some of the clay out of the bag, chunk like that, you might want to like you know take that, slap it into a ball, and then work with it. No, you can't do that. You got to take the clay and wedge it up. Here I have a piece that I was already wedging a little bit, but I'll show you how it's done. You start wedging it. Do you wedge it on a table? Yes, but not a dry table like this. That's a little too dry. That'll actually dry up some of the clay if the uh, table's too wet. So step one, moisten. Too wet, too dry. Me. Step one, moisten the table. Yes, moisten the table. Get moist, people. Get moist. Not too wet, not too dry. Take one of these things. This is a plastic rib. You start scraping it, you take off a little bit of that too much water, if you have too much. Take your clay, put it here, do some wedging. This is called spiral wedging, because it makes a spiral. See? It looks like that when you're doing it. it. looks like a seashell, but you can't hear anything. Sorry, that was out of frame. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to do that again in frame? <laughs> That's fine. Sorry, this is an editing nightmare. Okay. Once it's all good and wedged, you got one of these shapes. Another seashell. Another seashell. But you can't hear out of this one either. <laughs> then you slap it into a carrot shape. I know the terminology is kind of confusing with complex terms like carrot shape, potato shape. It's a lot of, <laughs> a lot of vegetable shapes in pottery. That only I use those terms though. So it is confusing. Okay, then you slap it out like this. Like a cucumber. Like a cucumber. <laughs> No, like a carrot, because it tapers. Oh. Cucumber would taper on both sides. Carrots only on one side. Then you take your bucket of water. Plop it right there in front of you. With a dry hand, grab the top. Hold it here with the other hand. Dip it. And slide. And you need it to be wet. you got to keep applying water. Get it nice and slippery. Now, normally people go from the top down, but you can go down and up and reverse order, reverse action. And you want to get it really long, and you got to keep it wet. And if the, sometimes the, uh, the end gets a little fat at the tip, so you just squeeze that, <laughs> drop it off, plop it off. So once you get a nice long handle, let's get going. I mean, let's get this thing really long. Whoops. Okay, I kind of made it a little narrow in the middle. So let's say that that's long enough. And that's, uh, I like to pull my handles a little thick and pull them again off of the pot once it's on the mug. So there we go. Set that aside and we'll get to the next step. Okay, now let's throw a pot on the wheel. Uh, got my clay, got my clay brin. Let me just uh, saddle up on the old wheel here. And uh, what you want to do is take the clay, hold it here, put your elbow here, center it, line it up in the center, pick it up, swing it down. And then you can do a little bit of dry centering, which is basically just slapping it without the water. <laughs> a little bit more to it, but that's that's how I'll explain it. Get kicking the wheel. This is a kick wheel from the 70s I got here. Get your hands wet, get the clay wet. And this is called coning up. Coning up and coning down. You know, very original names in pottery. They call it coning up because you make a cone and it goes up. And this is to help center the clay and even out the compression of it. Because you don't want the clay to be harder in one spot than it is in another spot or else when you go to start throwing it, start pulling up the walls, it'll be uh, uneven, it'll be harder. So now I got it looking about center. I'm going to 
open up the middle. This requires a fair amount of water, so I just fill up the little pool here in the middle so that my fingers are swimming in it. Start opening it up. Now I just want to make the bottom in here, so I pull a little over, make a flat bottom. I got I got a poop. Okay. Well, um, I guess I'll be taking over. Okay. So, oh gosh, that's fast. Uh, water touching. How do I make it spin? I'm gonna fall off the chair. Okay, and rubbing. <clears throat> And more water in the middle. Okay. I don't know how to get it to go up. It's harder than I remember. Oh gosh. I gave it a boo-boo. Let's see if I can fix it. That looks good, right? Oh no. That's the spout, actually. We're making a uh, pouring bowl. Gravy bowl, if you will. Why is it doing this? I think Alex would be proud. So, bringing back that handle that Alex made, we have it here. A snake, if you will. Um, and so I like to make mine a little decorative, so I'm going to add some twists in there. Uh, it's a lot harder than I thought with wet hands. And then just kind of uh, attach it. Okay. Definitely good. But you want to make sure that that spout's still open, so then you have it right like this. Alright, thank you for joining us and teaching us how to do some clay shaping. Yeah, you made a thing. A gravy boat! Yeah. With a handle. You clearly followed all my steps and, you know, instructions. I also, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I learned a lot from this guy. We hope to have you back. Yeah. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe. Comment below what you'd like to see next time. Also, follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Links are in the description below.